Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple has wraps off its 2020 iPhones at an event on October 13th, and with just days to go until the big reveal, we might now know nearly everything about them, including when you might be able to buy them for yourself. The iPhone 12 lineup will have a brand new design with squared edges instead of rounded ones, perhaps similar to the beloved design of the iPhone 4 and 5. And all signs are pointing toward this being the year the iPhone gets 5G, which should set you up for faster data speeds once the networks can reliably deliver them in your area. But if you've been waiting for iPhones to get 120Hz refresh rate screens, you might have to wait another year. All of the most trusted sources of Apple rumors seem to agree. Instead of announcing three new iPhone models, like Apple did in 2017, 2018, and 2019, the company will reveal four. And we now might know their prices, colors, and release dates as well. A new Mini, which would have a smaller screen than the 5.8-inch iPhone 11 Pro and presumably be an entirely smaller phone. It could start at $699, come in black, white, red, blue, and green, and have 64GB, 128GB, and 256GB versions. A 6.1-inch iPhone 12, meaning it would have the same screen size as the iPhone 11, with similar specs as its 5.4-inch sibling. It might start at $799, also come in black, white, red, blue, and green, and also have 64GB, 128GB, and 256GB versions. A second 6.1-inch model, the iPhone 12 Pro, which would have higher-end specs. It may start at $999, come in gold, silver, graphite, and blue, and have 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB versions a new 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max. That screen size would be bigger than the 6.5-inch iPhone 11 Pro Max, likely making this as well. It could start at $1,099, come in gold, silver, graphite, and blue, and have 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB versions. Apple has stuck with the same basic silhouette for the iPhone, a rounded rectangle with rounded sides since the iPhone 6, a phone that came out all the way back in 2014. But this year, rumors indicate the newest iPhones could have flat edges, returning iPhone design to the glory days of the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, and iPhone SE. Apparent dummy models of the phones have been floating around this summer, based on the expected dimensions of the upcoming iPhones, and they give us our best idea of what that new design could look like and how their sizes compare to other phones in Apple's lineup. All four new iPhones will have squared off edges and will continue to have stainless steel edges on the pricier models and aluminum on the less expensive ones. 2020's iPhones are expected to be the first to support 5G cellular networks, which means the phones might be able to take advantage of faster network speeds, depending on the 5G coverage in your area that all four upcoming iPhone models will support both sub-6G HC and the faster, but far shorter range, Wave 5G. We generally wait as rumors a tad higher than the rest, but even Kuo revised his guidance in September to say that shipments of Mwave 5G iPhones would be lower than expected, without specifying whether any iPhones had dropped the technology. Despite much of the industry moving on to OLED years ago, LCD screens have hung around in some of Apple's recent phones, including 2018's iPhone XR and 2019's iPhone 11. OLED screens have some advantages over LCD. For example, because each pixel on an OLED screen is individually lit, the screen can just turn those pixels off when showing blacks. That can mean deeper blacks, truer colors, more vibrance, and sometimes better battery life. Flagship Android phones have also moved on to higher refresh rate screens for smoother scrolling, animations, and games, but it's unclear if that technology will arrive on any iPhones this year. We've heard rumors both ways, and some sources say Apple has tested prototypes with and without the feature. O said in September that none of the new iPhones will have 120Hz instead, Apple apparently plans to bring the feature to iPhone screens next year. If the iPhone 12 does offer 120Hz, don't be surprised if Apple calls it ProMotion OnStage. That's the brand name it uses for its iPad Pros, which have had high refresh rate screens since 2017. This year's iPhones are expected to keep a dual camera setup for the lower end models and a triple camera setup for the higher end models, but the high end phones could also get a lighter sensor, according to Bloomberg, which can detect objects using lasers. That lighter sensor, in theory, can enable better augmented reality experiences because your phone could have a better sense of your surround. The iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 may have a wide angle and an ultra wide. 
the iPhone 12 Pro could have a wide angle, an ultra-wide, a telephoto with 4x optical zoom, and a lighter sensor. The iPhone 12 Pro Max might have a wide angle, an ultra-wide, a telephoto with 5x optical zoom, and a lighter sensor. This would be a big shift, as iPhones have come with power adapters and earpods since the first iPhone launched in 2007. But perhaps Apple is trying to avoid giving everyone yet another extra power adapter or set of headphones that will just get shoved in a drawer. That doesn't mean Apple won't offer ways to charge your phone. The new iPhones will apparently still come with a lightning to USB-C cable, according to Kuo, which would let you connect your phone to a computer or a power adapter with a USB-C port. That rumor of a lightning to USB-C cable suggests the phone itself likely won't have a USB-C port this year, even though the iPad Pro switched over to USB-C in 2018. Apple would sell a new 20-watt charger, which may have been corroborated by this picture post. If this charger is a real Apple product, it might charge your devices faster than the 18-watt charger included with the iPhone 11 Pro, and likely much faster than the anemic 5-watt charger included with the iPhone 11. Without an included charger and headphones, the new iPhones may have a thinner box. In a tray that could be included in the new box, and it seems to only have space for a coiled-up cable, and perhaps some papers and instructions. This year's iPhones are expected to have yet another new Apple design processor, as Apple has included the next numerical A-series Bionic chip with new iPhones for the past few generations. Chip will be the A14 processor, which would be the same one included in the new iPad Air. The new chip will apparently be a significant upgrade, with an emphasis on speeding up artificial intelligence and Arkansas tasks. That is for now guys. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.